Yeah, cause, so basically I found an article in the, about the London Library, your favourite place, yeah. that they had found a f- 26 books that are almost certainly the original copies that Bram Stoker used to help research his enduring classic Dracula. Right. They, they already knew he'd been there, obviously, but significantly he joined in 1890. Uh, and he was active there until he left the library in 1897 when the book was published. So he only joined to research Dracula. That sounds, sounds like it, doesn't That's it? That's really good. Right? Nice. So they said that they, they obviously they did, that they had a collection of his handwritten and typed notes that were discovered in 1913. But what they also now found, trawling the shelves, they revealed the library has original copies carrying detailed markings and marginalia. He wrote in the books? Yes. He wrote in the London Library books? Well, shocking, eh? That's a big no-no. Shocking. That's a big no-no. The devil. <laughs> <laughs> the most evil thing you've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the most heavily marked books include Sabine Baring Gould's Book of Werewolves, yeah. Thomas Brown's Pseudodoxica Epidemica, um, and then what else? He's got uh, A.F. Cross's Round About the Carpathians <laughs> and Charles Boner's Transylvania. <laughs> I'm not making it up. Round About the Carpathians. <laughs> it's like Carry On the Carpathians, isn't it? Confessions of a Carpathian. <laughs> <laughs> he's obviously looking at me. Well, he was obviously being very thorough. All the books yeah. <laughs> that he could possibly Give find. Give me everything you've got on Carpathia. <laughs> even, <laughs> even the rubbish ones. Even the rubbish ones. Ha 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 